Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for Simon Says Stamp with a card idea using memory box dies to create a watercolor embossed background. The die I'm starting off with for my background is called the Jordana Collage and it has a lot of little circles, kind of distressed looking edges and here's the package, you can see the design a little clearer. So I have embossed this onto some Tim Holtz Distress Watercolor cardstock. I don't know if you can see the design very clearly, maybe just a little bit. I'll show you the sandwich that I use for my Big Shot. So I have my die and my cardstock, and I start off with the full platform on the bottom. Then I have a silicone mat that I use next. And so what you want to do is to put your paper down, then put your die on your paper, and then put your cutting plate on top, and then you can run that through your die cut machine. I am ready to start some watercolor. I have my cardstock here which has been embossed or debossed. And for my watercolors I'm using my Distress inks and I've chosen some blues and green colors just for the background. And I have a bowl of water here. I am also going to be using a soft brush with a wide tip and some water. So I'm going to go ahead and squirt some water onto my cardstock first. This will help all the watercolor flow into those areas. So next I want to go ahead and get my brush wet, and this is called Wet on Wet, so you're using wet dye ink or wet ink onto a wet surface. So just by tapping that brush into the color, I can just go ahead and tap onto this background and it starts to flow into the areas that I want. Once I've added my first color of green, and that was mowed lawn, next I'm going into a little bit of broken china. I've added a little bit more water to my brush and I'm just tapping this color in, allowing those colors to mix together. In between each of the colors I am dipping into my water just to get that brush wet so the ink is wet on my acrylic block. I've just dipped into peeled paint and now I'm adding a little bit of that. Peeled paint has a little bit more yellow color than the Mode Lawn, so it's a really nice mix once it's all together. If you feel you've gotten a little bit too much water or too much color in certain areas, you can go ahead and blot that up with a paper towel. But I'll just continue to kind of pull this color down a little bit and tap around until I'm happy with my results. My final color is Peacock Feathers, and I'll just go ahead and tap this in. I'll go back over into the green just to blend these colors together. And once you have all your colored laid down, you can either let that air dry or dry it with a heat tool. For my flower, I'm using the Sketch Daisy from Memory Box, and it has an inner and outer die. So it cuts the little frame, and it also cuts little pieces that can set under the frame. So I've cut these from some watercolor cardstock, and I'll be painting those with some Distress Ink. For the blossom of my flower, I've chosen ripe persimmon, picked raspberry, and spiced marmalade, and I'll be using the leftover greens for my leaves. I'm also using a smaller paintbrush to get into these smaller areas. To get started on this flower, I want to dip my paintbrush into the water, and before adding paint to the flower, I want to add some water to the blossom instead of spraying it like the background. So now that I have a wet brush and a wet surface, I can go ahead and get into that ripe persimmon and start adding some color. I'm going in a really odd pattern. I'm not going to follow the edges. I just want to get a little bit of color kind of mixing together between the three colors. Now I'm adding some picked raspberry just to the side of that ripe persimmon and by tapping it right next to it I'll get a new blend of color. So I'll be going back and forth between my colors and just adding dots and tapping it in until I have a really nice variety of color. I've saved the very ripe part of the blossom for the spiced marmalade and so this will give me quite a bit of orange color on this one petal. So all of my colors are in the same family. They will all blend together. So when choosing your Distress inks or your paints, just make sure that the colors, when they're overlapped together, will look nice. Once all my papers were dry, I decided to make a tag card. So I've used the Pinpoint Main Street tags from Memory Box. And there's, uh, they're nested tags, but they have a really nice dot on them. I'm going to try to show you up close. It's a really fine pinpoint dot that goes around the edges. These dies are really fantastic that they're already separated and they come on a magnetic sheet for storage. 
So I have cut two of these tags and I've put them together at the top to make a mini card. And I've used my scoreboard just to score a line at that top part. And then I've used my adhesive to stick that together. So now I have a mini self-standing tag card. To put this together, I've put a little bit of foam adhesive on the back of the blossoms and the leaves. And I'll go ahead and stack that onto the card. And I'm going to be offsetting my frame on top, and I have a little bit of my glue pen glue on the back side of that frame. When putting this all together, I offset the frame from the painted blossom so that it gives a little bit more dimension. And I also did the same for the leaves towards the bottom. To finish my card off, I've added a few sequins towards the top, and then I die cut the thanks from Simon Says Stamp and added that to the bottom. I hope I've given you some inspiration to use your dies as an embossed painted background. And as always, thanks for watching.